Two years ago, when mass graves were discovered in Ukraine, this House united in condemnation and rightly treated these graves as evidence of war crimes yeah, yeah. which Russia yeah, yeah. must be made to answer for. Yep. Yesterday, Palestinian officials uncovered two mass graves outside the bombed hospitals in Gaza. These graves also constitute as a war crime, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Deputy Prime Minister. Well, of course, we would expect the, the democratic government of Israel to investigate any allegations of misconduct, and that's exactly what they do, and it's exactly what the Foreign Secretary and the Prime Minister urge them to do. But I find it quite extraordinary that she seeks to draw parallels between the legitimate war of self-defence of Israel and the conduct of Russia. Very black. 300 bodies including the elderly and the injured, some of which had been stripped naked, mutilated with their hands tied behind their backs. Mm, yeah. The UK's own arms policy states that if there is even a risk that war crimes may be taking place, then that is reason enough to halt the sale of arms. Yeah. Sale. Given all we know, the why then is the Prime Minister yet to do so? Deputy Prime Minister. Well, we continue to urge the Israeli government to investigate any allegations of misconduct. The difference, though, is that we can trust the Israeli government, a democratically elected government, to properly investigate those things. And, of course, we keep the advice under review. The Foreign Secretary has recently made it clear that he has conducted uh, a determination and has not changed his advice regarding uh, export licences, and I think that is the correct decision.